In this video, we're going to talk about enums. So what are enums? You could say that an enum is a predetermined list. And the nice thing about enums is that we know what the range of values are because we defined them beforehand. So this might sound a little vague, but if we go into code, this might be a lot easier. So here we are back in our code. And to define an enum, we have to go below here and instead of using the class keyword, we use the enum keyword. But for what are we going to use this enum? Well, we have this kind property that is a string. And the problem is that we have to check against the string if this kind is the same. And the problem of this is that we use magic strings, which if someone defined this dog with not an uppercase D, but a lowercase D, then the sound is not going to be woof. It's going to be unknown probably, but it's still a dog. So we want to take out this kind of confusion by using an enum. And let's first create this enum. So what we do instead of class, we use enum. And I'm going to name it animal kind. You can name it differently if you want. And it's really simple. We just type dog cat bird. So these are the animals that we accept in our animal shelter. Now instead of this string kind, we are now going to use animal kind. But to showcase what this enum does is we're going to print out animal kind dot values. And inside this animal kind dot values, there is the list of the certain values that we have. So a dog, cat and bird. So what we can do now is instead of this string, use animal kind, and now we have a lot of errors, but we're going to fix that by you changing this to animal kind. Now this is empty is not going to work because this is empty is a string function and not an enum function. So we're just going to check for null and null is the same as undefined. Then we have an error of this determined sound because it expects a string. So we have to change that as well. Then now we can say if kind is animal, oh, don't use that quote, animal kind dot dog. And animal kind dot cat. So now all that is fixed. And the only thing that we have to fix is this registering of the animals. So this is also going to be an animal kind. And then we have here that these values aren't animal kinds but strings. So we have to fix that as well. But we can leave the var here and just use animal kind dot dog. Animal kind dot cat. more kind of bird and everything should now work fine just as it did before but now you don't have to worry about that our string isn't going to match with the input and we if this was the context of a website we could fill a combo box with these values from our animal kind so the only thing that's different is that we now have Harry the animal kind of dog Fred the animal kind of cat and Larry the animal kind of bird. And we're going to fix that in the next video.